Good evening YouTubers. Well I'm going to talk today about gangster guns. Uh, what I think is the um, the best, my favourite and of course the most iconic gangster gun in the world. Now what is a gangster gun first of all? Submachine gun, that was the idea. The, uh, they came up with it in the First World War they thought. Automatic pistols, they thought this would be great. They're really effective at close range. If we could use these to fire more bullets faster in a confined space, we could take everyone out. <laughs> and uh, I think Hugo Schmeiser was the first guy to come up with the MP18. It came out in 1918, I believe. People have actually tried to get pistols to fire really fast, fully automatic. I have seen the Glock 18 firing fully automatic. That it does actually work. I've seen them uh, tested to destruction. They do break, as I've mentioned earlier, but uh, they work. They do work. But I think Hugo Schmeiser was the first guy to come up with the idea of a tube gun. He just had one working part bouncing backwards and forwards on a spring with a fixed firing pin, simple blowback action. What can go wrong? And uh, that seemed to be the way forward for the submachine gun. And Mr. Thompson came out with his iconic Thompson submachine gun, which was, I think, in all fairness, has got to be the most famous submachine gun of all. And uh, it came out too late. It was pistol ammunition. It was the 45 ACP, same as the Colt 1911. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't out until after the end of the war. So the military got them and uh, they fell into the hands of gangsters. <laughs> Al Capone and his mates in Chicago took over the city of Chicago and you see that in all the gangster films that no self-important um, gangster would not have a submachine gun, a Tommy gun going round with his hat on, murdering people at close range. So the Thompson for me has got to be the most iconic uh, submachine gun in the world. Although the correct um, phrase is the machine pistol because it's pistol ammunition it is a pistol firing pistol ammunition really really fast and I think my favorite my favorite is the MP40 because again it's a simple tube action it's a better made thing it's quite well made well the, the, the MP38 was the gun that it, the MP40 copied. The MP40 was a production copy of the MP38 so just to make it cheaper to manufacture and mass produce. British didn't have any machine guns. They didn't want gangster guns in the British Army. <laughs> anyway, they, they needed them. They got beaten at Dunkirk and they needed uh, machine guns and they needed them fast and they bought Thompsons from America which were exceedingly expensive because they were a very well engineered piece of kit. Even the Americans looked at making it cheaper, making a cheaper version of it for mass production for the combat forces for World War II, which is exactly what they did. So the MP40, okay, that's my favourite one, I think, because uh, it's a really simple action. You can just twist it and it comes apart. There's a pin in the bottom that you turn and pull out and it just twists and comes apart and you take all the working parts out, put them all back in after you've cleaned it, put the pin back in, give it a twist and away you go. It's it's really, really well made, the well designed gangster gun. And don't forget these were um, used, it's a Nazi era weapon and it was used by the Nazis who were the biggest gangsters of all because they didn't just take over the city, they took over the entire government, the entire country, they murdered more people than Al Capone and they tried to take over the world so anyone who's ever seen a war film the Nazis running around they've got the MP40 which this is dead cool it's one of my favorite gun I'm not into Nazis don't get me wrong but it, it is really really iconic favorite cool submachine gun it had a double stack single feed magazine probably could have benefited a little bit better from a double feed but other than that it was great and lastly, of course, what I consider to be the best submachine gun in the world, that would be, without doubt, the, the 1960s Uzi, 
with the wooden stock. It did have a, you could unscrew the end of the barrel, take the barrel out and you could put a different barrel in there, a longer barrel if you wanted it to be more accurate, hit things further away, but I mean that's defeating the object of the submachine gun. The submachine gun is basically made for going into rooms, room to room and killing everyone in the room. That's the idea. Now, they're my three voted uh, favourite, uh, best and uh, most iconic. Iconic being the Thompson, uh, my favourite being the MP40 and I think the best submachine gun in the world is the Uzi. You might disagree, there's no right or wrong answer to this. Answers downstairs please, tell me what you think, what the, the, your top three would be. Uh, there are loads and loads out there, loads of newer ones in the Uzi. Fashions come and go and change but I like things that work, they're simple and they work and they're effective. So there, there were my three choices. Thanks for watching. Now oh, yes, I did mention it earlier. Umarex, Umarex, the German company Umarex have made um, BB versions of everything. <laughs> and I've got a BB version of the uh, MP40. This is the BB. It does say on that, and if we can focus on it, it's got 0.5 millimeter BBs. You can see the BBs there. Pull this back and it holds absolutely loads in a, in a double stack configuration and uh, here it is wow that is super cool I really like that it's an air gun it's not a real gun this is an air gun okay it fires co2 bbs but it looks the part it doesn't strip down it does the, the, uh, the shoulder stock thing and uh, there's the little knob I was telling you about that you you turn and pull and the whole thing twists and comes up but this doesn't do that because this is uh, this is an air rifle and uh, so it's just there for show and it's got safety catch down here and safety catch so it goes from safe to fire like that see this shows a white spot pull it back there's a red spot now in Europe we're not allowed to have the fully auto version of this uh, but in some countries, depends on the law, wherever you are. Some countries, America, obviously, in Mexico, I think, there's a, there's a third position in the middle for fully auto. That must be fun. Although it will go through gas and BBs really fast. So we can't have the fully auto version in, in Europe. So, But you can. I bought this on Amazon. And uh, as long as you're over 18, you can buy one of these. And shoot it responsibly, of course. There you are. What a super piece of kit. I actually bought this for hanging it on the wall. But you can take it down now and then and have a plink with it with some beer cans in the garden. <laughs> Superb. Love it. Thanks for watching. when there's a ball goes and one doesn't go. What I find with this magazine it's double stacked in the front there. Left right, left right, left right, but it doesn't always, there's, sometimes there's a gap. I don't know how that plan pans out when it gets to the top, but holds loads and loads of BBs in there. Wicked. And the 
so you put it in <laughs> the right way around. Hyper section. <laughs>